Hey everybody, this is uh, John P. again. I'm just here to do a quick follow-up on a prior video I had yesterday about uh, LDN, low-dose naltrexone, and uh, my autoimmune disease, Hashimoto's disease. I had a couple things that I forgot to include in that video, and I wanted to cover them today. Uh, number one is uh, after I started uh, LDN therapy in March this year, uh, like I said, about a month, a month and a half, uh, the improvements that I did see uh, were uh, the weakness in my legs dissipated almost completely. And uh, the other thing is the, the swelling that I had in my legs went away completely. I went completely off those two water pills or uh, diuretic medications that uh, that I had been on for like a year. Uh, the, the swelling just went away. That was the other primary symptom that LDN was able to resolve. So the, both those two recent symptoms that I had uh, were so far uh, successfully resolved from my LDN therapy and uh, there's no other explanation for uh, the reduction of those symptoms other than my starting of LDN therapy so uh, at least that's the way I uh, am viewing it and the other thing is uh, unrelated to my uh, Hashimoto's disease I had uh, just about uh, Three months before I, I started LDN therapy, I had developed, a, uh, unrelated to my Hashimoto's disease, I developed a, a marble-sized tumor in my right foot. Uh, not quite as big as this, but about I'd say about three quarters of the size of this uh, this thing. Uh, it was pretty big, and it was a big lump, hard lump in my right foot. And I went to see a podiatrist about it, and uh, he gave me a uh, examination. Uh, he couldn't determine whether it was cancerous or not. He just said he he didn't think it was cancerous, but it was a big, a hard mass there. And uh, he uh, he was just going to evaluate over a, like a six to six to eight month period. So he didn't want to do anything with it right away. But uh, like I say, about after three months, I saw him. Uh, that's when I started the LDN therapy. And within, uh, like I said, this is unrelated to the uh, Hashimoto's disease, but within about uh, a month, month and a half uh, of uh, starting LDN therapy, uh, that tumor went in my right foot, <laughs> went completely away, just like evaporated. So that, that was another benefit uh, for me as far as uh, uh, a benefit that I think I contribute to the LDN therapy. I can't really uh, stay with 100% you know, certainty, but uh, there's no other explanation for it. Other than, uh, you know, L I know I'm aware that LDN is a, a known cancer treatment and also known to shrink tumors. And uh, so that's uh, that's something that I can, uh, you know, uh, in my belief is that, uh, that that it got rid of that tumor for me. So uh, uh, that's the other thing. And uh, let's see. Uh, uh, the other thing is that part of the protocol for LDN therapy is, uh, is they recommend you take... Uh, uh, this supplement here, this one supplement, uh, it's called uh, DL phenolphthane. It's uh, you can get this in any any vitamin shops uh, at 500 megs. I I just you're supposed to take two, but I only take one per day. It's uh, the supplement you can get any any of the shops. It's just a uh, it's supposed to help your immune system in addition to the LDN. It works well with the LDN uh, therapy. So that's the other thing. And the other thing I didn't cover with you guys. Uh, uh, is how does LDN work? I really didn't cover that in my initial video with you. And uh, uh, the basis of LDN therapy is that uh, people with autoimmune diseases like myself, uh, the markers for somebody with a uh, immune system disease is that they generally have like a, a low endorphin production during the day. They don't produce enough endorphins, uh, which is a uh, endorphins are like a uh, the primary factors for uh, uh, regulating your all your immune system. Uh, they don't produce enough endorphins to uh, basically uh, maintain your your immune system during the day. And uh, uh, what uh, what LDN does, my understanding is that uh, uh, you know the the amount of uh, uh, LDN that I take per night is like 4.5 milligrams milligrams, which is the the, the recommended amount at a uh, maximum low dose amount I take it at 10 o'clock uh, in the evening and uh, what it does is that uh, when you take it at night like that it blocks some of the uh, 
opio uh, opioid receptors for about like three to four hours after you take it. And what that does is it allows the pituitary and the adrenal glands to uh, respond to the inability of these receptors to flood the body with uh, up to three times more endorphins than usual the next day. And, and so that uh, uh, the next day with the in increase in the endorphin production, it's going to add to a, like a, a, a increase boost to your immune system so that uh, basically uh, it uh, helps to uh, boost and, and supercharge your immune system. So if you're autoimmune, uh, deficient, you know, you're, you have a disease that's autoimmune related, it's going to basically supercharge or uptake your immune system so that you bring it back to closer to normal. Uh, and that's basically the mechanism that it works. It, it just uh, allows your body to basically heal itself or, or uh, uh, produce enough endorphins to uh, bring your body up to the normal uh, range of endorphins so that your, your your body is basically functioning at a normal level as far as your immune system so uh, and that's why it works for so such a wide variety of, uh, of uh, autoimmune diseases is because it really doesn't act on any particular one disease it just uh, uh, basically uh, uh, it's a modulator for your immune system that affects all different types of diseases that are immune system related. So, and that's that's how it works. That's my understanding, anyways. And uh, uh, and the other thing is uh, uh, one other thing is uh, there's a, there is a free book on the internet uh, that you can also do uh, look up. Uh, it's called uh, "Those Who Suffer Much Know Much." It's basically a book about case studies of LDN. Um, and all you have to do is type, go to Google, type in uh, those who suffer much, know much, and it should bring, bring up a PDF file that has a list of uh, uh, cases involving LDN therapy, like uh, this, this is the, the content listing. It has all different types of studies of LDN therapy involving multiple scler sclerosis cases, uh, Cancer cases, uh, hepatitis B cases, and uh, other all sorts of different types of cases, and it's a free book, so you don't have to you don't have to pay any money for it. So, because uh, it's available for free on the internet. So, uh, and see if there's anything else. Um, I think that's pretty much it for now. That's all I got. I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, but I, like I said, I've been. Uh, uh, pretty happy with LDN therapy so far. Uh, you know, uh, I'm still walking. That's the main thing. And because uh, I, I felt for sure, I 100% that I was headed for a wheelchair. I mean, uh, uh, it's a uh, for me it was like uh, the difference between being in a wheelchair or being uh, active and, and leading a fairly normal life. And so there wasn't much uh, uh, much doubt as far as I'm concerned as whether or not I was going to try this medication. Uh, it was just a matter of qualifying with a regular doctor who's give me a chance for it so uh, uh, but I recommend that if you're going to consider this you, you have to do your own research and make your own decision based on your own findings everybody's different and uh, uh, some for some people I understand that uh, LDN therapy has not worked so it's no guarantee uh, you know it will work for you uh, I felt for sure that it was going to work for me because I, I definitely had a true 100 uh, percent verifiable uh, autoimmune disease uh, I was tested numerous times for it, so uh, uh, I felt that because of that, I was uh, I was fairly confident that it was going to work for me, and so far it has. So uh, um, I just hope it continues to, to uh, work for me. And uh, anyways, uh, best of luck for you out there, and hope it, hope if you have a condition like mine, I hope it works for you.